You may have been wondering how you are able to call your friends Omar and Farah in Cairo, Egypt, all the way from your home hundreds of kilometers away in Abuja, Nigeria. In fact, you can even make a video call and see them talk. Or how does your cable television antenna receive the signals that give you amazing television shows that you enjoy? These are possible because these devices are made to either transmit or receive what we call waves. And this will be our topic for this lesson. So what is a wave? A wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium transferring energy from one point to another without causing any permanent displacement of the medium. A common example of a wave is the ripple created along the surface of liquids like water when a denser object like stone is thrown on the surface. As you can see, the stone immediately creates these disturbances that start from the point it hits the surface of the lake and goes out. These disturbances are called waves. If you look at this image, it looks like the water on the surface of the lake is moving from one point to another as the waves travel along the surface of the lake. But this is not the case. It is only temporarily displaced vertically and does not flow from one point to another. So to prove this, let us use an illustration. Assuming this lake is still and not flowing, and we view it from a cross-sectional view while taking note of just one way. What we will see is that the water at the surface only goes up and down. This means that it is only temporarily displaced vertically, but not horizontally. So the wave pushes a part of the water at the surface up and then pulls it down. And as it returns to its original state, it further pushes another part up and then down. And this is how it travels throughout the surface of the lake. Another way to show that the water at the surface of the lake does not move horizontally from its original point but only goes up, down, and returns to its original point is by placing a small object that floats on the surface of the lake. What you will notice is that as the wave travels along the surface of the water and reaches the point where the object is, the object will go up and down and will return to its rest point, but will not move away horizontally from its initial point. But note that this wave is also doing some work by lifting and dropping the water on the surface of the lake as it travels along the surface of this lake. This implies that it must have energy, which we said is the ability to do work. From this illustration, you can see that the wave causes a disturbance by temporarily displacing the water on the surface of the lake. It also travels through a medium, which in this case is water, transferring energy without causing any permanent vertical or horizontal displacement of the water. This is why we said that a wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium, transferring energy from one point to another without causing any permanent displacement of the medium. You can try this at home by filling a large bowl of water, placing a small floating object, and causing a disturbance at a point and see for yourself what a wave looks like. Keep learning.